Hello and welcome back to my channel. Um, first, let me start by saying, um, <laughs> sorry about my voice. In my last video, I know my voice sounded harsh and it's probably gonna sound harsh today as well because you know, I told you guys I've been sick and I've been trying to get over it. And my niece watches my videos and she told me that my last video where I was showing the outfits that I had sewn, that my voice didn't sound so good. So she pointed that out to me. <laughs> so <clears throat> I just wanna apologize about that. Um, I'm still having a little bit of problems, so it'll still probably sound a little harsh, but I don't want to just, you know, keep waiting. I need to, you know, make some videos and get them out there, so it's not too bad. It's getting better, but this video is going to be about some dolls I have found going to a few thrift stores and flea markets. Now, I do a lot of estate sale hauls, but I also have a lot of flea markets in the area where I live. So I have found quite a few dolls at the flea markets. Obviously, these are not super recent because I've been sick. This, these have been a collection over a few weeks that I have found them, and uh, I needed to get them out in a video, so I decided to do that today. So I'm gonna go through each one individually and kind of show you. Um, some of them, I, I, know what they, I know what they are, and I'm familiar. A couple of them, I'm not sure, so I'll let you know which ones those are. But uh, let's go ahead and get started with the first one. Okay, here's the first Barbie that I found. I found her at a thrift store near my, thrift store, no, flea market near my house. And there's a lady who has a booth there that I like to go to because she's always got Barbies and she's always doing 50% off. So I got her for $4 and I know that she's the, um, oh, 1991, I wanna say, holiday Barbie. Um, now she didn't have her box and you know, I do prefer to buy them in the box, but if I find the doll in good condition and I like the doll and she's not in the box, you know, I'll get her for display purposes, but I also do eventually want to get one in the box. Unfortunately, as seems to be the rule a lot of times with dolls you buy out of the box, she did not come with her shoes. So I have to try to find her shoes. But let's do an up close of her. Okay, so um, one of my favorite things about collecting the older 90s Barbies is this nice big hair. So let's take a look in the back. I think, you know, it looks fairly good, but it's definitely I'm gonna wash it and try to brush it out because it is knotty, especially up here at the top. It's quite a few knots in it. So I'm gonna wash it and try to brush it out. But the good thing is the jewelry is still there and it's the jewelry is held down by that plastic piece so that it didn't fall off. And she still has her earrings, really pretty earrings. And I like this one because it has all these pretty beads all over the dress. I actually really like the bow in the hair too. It's got a bunch of hair all over it, but it's a nice velvet, it's, which is the same fabric that the dress is made out of with beads. And that's why I love this dress. It needs to shake it out because it's gonna collect dust because of velvet fabric really, really attracts dust. But look at all that. So that's really pretty. And then she came with her bag. So a lot of times they are missing the bag, but she does have that. And let's take a look at this bodice piece here. So pretty. And it has all that jewel work in it. And there's even a little bit continued into the back. You know, the back you have piece the beadwork back here. That's all nice. I like the fact they continued it to the back even though her hair is gonna cover it up. I like the makeup on it. She still has her ring there. So she's in fairly good condition. I think she turned out pretty good for an, an older doll, 1991. That's what, like 30 years old, over 30 years old. So she's still pretty good. So like I said, I, got, I think I got her for $4. So I thought that was a pretty good deal for the 1991 holiday Barbie. Uh, what 
let me grab the next one. We have another, with another holiday party. Let me switch her out. Should turn up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is another holiday Barbie. This one I actually did get at a thrift store. You'll never believe I found her at Goodwill. And she's the 1990 holiday Barbie. So she was the year before. So I was at Goodwill and I don't normally find like hmm, Barbies with their outfits in good condition at the Goodwill. Uh, I just happened to be going, they only have like one toy aisle. I said, it was small Goodwill, it's not very big. So it's just one short toy aisle. And I walked down it and I saw this attracted my attention right away. And I thought, wow, this Barbie is in really good condition. She's got her dress on. She even still got her some of her jewelry. And she they had her marked for $1.67. And I was like, wow, yes, of course, I'm gonna grab that for $1.67. Now, this Barbie, when she comes in the box, she does come with, um, I think, a bigger ornament that's this star shape here, like the star she has in her dress, and I'll get a closer look at it. And it's a bigger ornament for you to put on your tree. Obviously, that's missing. And of course, her shoes are missing, but here's a close-up on her. So she's got the big hair and these big bangs. Now, she needs some more work in her hair, too. It's got a lot of tangles you know I need to wash it who knows if it's been at the Goodwill who knows you know where it's been before that so I need to wash it and get that fixed but the dress is in really good condition there's no tears or rips or snags and this is the kind of fabric that snags very easily but I love the pattern on it it has an eight point star an eight point star is one of my favorite designs because it's very retro reminds me of the 50s and here on her dress she has a star right here you can kind of see it there and this is sewn onto her dress but it's really only sewn on with a few stitches and it's got a b right there in the middle for barbie so surprisingly that stayed on over the last 33 years and then she has this Let's see if I can get it. This necklace right here is still on. And we still have our earrings. And she still has her ring. It looks like the ring is missing the stone. So she has the ring, but it looks like the stone is not in there. So that's kind of too bad. I mean, I'm sure I can find a rhinestone and glue it in there. Uh, I'd probably get some E, what is it, E6000 or E5000, E6000, I think. And just glue a rhinestone in there. You know, that'd be an easy fix. No, but the necklace looks good. So, I was surprised by her condition, definitely. And uh, she's got all these frills up here. All this pretty fabric. And this is a very bright pink color. Definitely surprising. For a Christmas or holiday outfit but I like it so here's the back it's just simple velcro and of course like I said no shoes but for a dollar 67 finding at the Goodwill I think that is a pretty good deal let me put her pack up there so we have that one now I think I have Another one, this one's more, this Barbie's more of a mystery. Let me grab her. Let's swap them out. There we go. Now this Barbie, okay, obviously this Barbie caught my attention right away because she's a redhead. And I love redheads and I love that pretty long hair. Very long red hair. I'm not familiar with the dress. Now, let me tell you what the tag said. I was at a flea market that's a little bit, uh, about a mile and a half from my house. And the tag said 1992 Holiday Barbie. <laughs> um, 
I don't remember the 1992 holiday Barbie looking like that. I remember it being different, and I think the dress was more of a white or silver color, if I remember. I don't think it was red. And to be honest, I don't remember too many holiday Barbies that had extremely long red hair. So I don't know why the tag said that, if they were confused or something, I don't know. But I don't recognize the dress as one of the holiday Barbies. To me, the red, the long red hair is more like one of those uh, jewel mermaid Barbies that have that really long hair. Um, and maybe it's, it's probably not, but that's just what it reminds me of. So I'm not quite sure on that, but let's get a closer look. So, well, let me tell you that I paid more for her than I normally would for a Barbie that's out of the box. I paid $12. And it was just because I was attracted by that long red hair. And this is a very pretty dress that I've never seen before. So, here is a close-up of her face. I like her makeup. I like that bright red lipstick. I love it when they have red hair and bright red lipstick. It looks good together. So in her hair is this red bow. I don't know if that's original or not. Now definitely her hair needs work. As you can see, it's got curls and it's long, but it definitely needs to be washed and brushed and conditioned. It's pretty dry looking and it's very um, ratty has quite a bit of tangles. So you can see all those tangles through there. But the length of it, so here's the top of her head. Let's see if I can kind of show the length. So the length goes down, I would say a little bit past her behind. So that's pretty long. Now let's take a look at the dress. So this dress, it has this gold mesh uh, lace and it goes all the way up to the neck. So it's kind of all covered up here with gold. And when the light hits it, the gold sparkles. It's hard to see on camera, but it does. And then it has this jewel here. This jewel is actually part of the dress. It's not a necklace. And then it comes down to the bodice goes all the way down with the gold. Each arm has a red bow, kind of tied right there. And the other arm also has a red bow tied there. Now she does have a ring. It is missing the rhinestone. Inside the, the uh, casing, there's no rhinestone. Her earrings are small. So they, she's got tiny little earrings that there. Look like they might be missing. Are they missing the rhinestone? Well, maybe not. No, they're not. They have a rhinestone in them, but the ring is missing. And then the skirt part. So there's a couple layers to the skirt. There's a thick satin layer here. It seems to have some type of stiff trim at the bottom to keep the skirt kind of poofed out. And then it has just some plain red tulle right here. And then it has the last, the third overlay is this red tulle with a gold sparkle on it. So it's got three layers to the skirt. And then here is a red bow. And the red bow is tied and then sewn right here to the bottom of the bodice. And then the um, bottom of the, of the bow is tied or clipped right there to the bottom of the skirt so that it doesn't hang over. It kind of just hangs right like that. So that's a little bit different. I haven't seen that too often. And for some reason, this tool is scrunched up up here. So that's interesting. So the tool, I don't know why it's like this. If it's supposed to be like that or if it's stuck. 
It's, it seems like it's supposed to be like that. The tool here is shortened. You see that? It's like it's sewn that way. It's sewn to the bottom. So the tool goes to the bottom here and then it goes up and then it comes up here and then goes up in the back and then comes back down and it's actually sewn that way. So it's sewn to be up. That's different. I've never seen a dress like that with the tool overlayer sewn up like that. That's, that kind of bothers me. I keep trying to pull it down, but it's not going to pull down because it's sewn that way. That's just so strange. So I don't know if you know what dress this is. Let me know. But I really like the dress and I really like the doll. So definitely I want to fix her up. I don't know if I want to keep her in this dress. I do like her in this dress since she is, you know, a red-headed doll. She looks good in the red dress. Let's put her back there. So I don't know. But she's definitely interesting. I really like her. So I got her from the flea market. And then we have a we have a few more dolls here. Let's go with our last holiday Barbie. We have it's this one so this should be a familiar holiday Barbie this this holiday Barbie is the 2018 unfortunately uh, she doesn't have a lot of the jewelry the the 20 or the 2018 holiday Barbie really came with some very pretty pieces she has that really pretty necklace, bracelet, and that tiara. This doll didn't come with any of that. She just came with this dress and obviously no shoes. Um, what I do like about this doll is that she's posed. So she's already got that posed uh, look going on. She has painted fingernails. So her fingernails are painted uh, red. I like the way they've done her hair. Her, this doll's hair needs to be fixed up, but uh, I like the length, I like the part, so I definitely am going to fix it up as best I can. I like her makeup. I like her very bright lipstick, and I like her dark eye makeup. So the reason why I decided to go ahead and get her, even though she's missing, I paid $5 for her, even though she's missing all of her jewelry, I have... Um, the 1992 uh, holiday Barbie dress. I don't have the doll. I have the dress and it's that big silver dress and it has all those um, beads, it's got all that bead work at the front. It's got some dangly beads. And then it has that big um, tool pieces around the bottom. And I thought that she would look good in that dress because she's got that pose going on and uh, she has that makeup, which I think will look okay with the silver. So I thought that she would look good in that dress and I needed a doll to display that dress. I'm, I want to get another one of these, but I want to get it in the box with the jewelry, with a complete outfit. So I'm okay with removing uh, this particular doll from this dress. Maybe I'll even sell the dress. I don't know. Because I just, I want to get it, I want to get it in the box with all of its accessories. So I just wanted, basically I just wanted this particular doll body. To go ahead and go with um, the uh, other Barbie dress. So there, here's her face makeup. You know, and another thing that I really like is she's got that sculpted decollete. So that area right there, um, kind of where your neck is meets your chest that's called the decollete and you don't see that sculpted in a lot of barbies but she's got this sculpted decollete and i think that's very pretty so i think that will also display very well in that dress and you know like i said i love the pose here's the nails you know the nails look nice with the painting on them so between the decollete, the makeup, the nails, I just thought she'd be a really good fit for the other dress. 
this dress is pretty and the jewelry that goes with it is beautiful so i can't wait to actually get a copy of this doll in the box and be able to display her with all of that here's the hair now i like the curls these are obviously a little bit messed up, so I, that's why I want to get one that is not messed up and has the nice curls. But this is what she's going to look like. And once I am able to get her fixed up and get her put in the 92 holiday dress that I have, I'll definitely show you what, it looks, what she looks like in it. But this is 2018 basic excuse me basic holiday barbie this this dress also has that thing where you have the bow and then the bottom is kind of stitched to the dress but it's a much smaller bow and it has the bottom here so so we'll go ahead and put this one back i do like how this dress kind of goes out like a ball gown though if you you can really if you work with it you can really get it to floof out it looks really nice so I definitely do like that dress. Okay, let's move into our happy birthday, Barbie. Let's remove holiday and let's put birthday. Okay, now I don't believe this is the original Barbie that wore that dress, but um, this dress is the 1994 birthday Barbie um, dress, I believe. I've always loved this dress, you know, ever since I was younger and the, the Barbie first came out. I've loved this dress because pink is one of my favorite colors. I like neon pink. I like the, the light neon pink that this dress has. So I love these curls. The Well, I mean the curls the design in the dress. So I've always loved this dress. And I went to a flea market and I saw this doll wearing this dress. I think I got her for like $2. So I had to grab it. I know she's not the original doll, I don't think, because from what I remember, the original Barbie wearing this dress has that 90s platinum, big poofy hair. And this doll, has more like um, straight, a little less poofy, kind of highlighted hair. So I don't think she's the original. I do believe that they put the original earrings in her ear though, let me show you. So here's a close up. Let's look at her hair. You see, this is straight hair with no curl. And you see how it's got these kind of like darker blonde highlights going through it? Yeah, that's not what the original Barbie had. So I don't think this is the original Barbie. But this is the dress. And the dress has kind of got a funny fit to it. It keeps wanting to fall down right here and expose this chest area. So I've been trying to keep it up <laughs> so that it looks more decent. There we go. But here's the beautiful design I love. I love these curly cues. I love this pink color. I love the sparkles. I just love this dress. It's always been one of my favorites. So I was excited when I saw it. Definitely, I want to get the original Barbie in the box for this one too. But I like this one for display purposes right now. So here's the earrings. I believe these are the original earrings. It looks like they put them in here. And why I say that is because if you see, these earrings have been put in and the hair has been pushed in with them. Like they, the hair isn't just wrapped around the earring. It looks like it's actually pushed into the hole. Like they didn't move the hair out of the way while they were transferring the earrings very well. So I believe that they were put in and that they weren't original because you know they would the hair wouldn't be pushed into the hole if they were the original earrings so but I love the dress so let's look at the back of the dress I believe it's just a, it's just a velcro yeah so 
This is very pretty. There's other versions of this dress I've seen that has more of a blue top, top part. And of course it has a banner. Like the the original doll's gonna come with a, like a happy birthday banner that goes across her um, kind of like length, like crossway wise like that. So she doesn't have her banner. And of course she doesn't have her shoes. But, um, or actually it's a sash. I'm calling it a banner, but it's like a sash that goes across this way. And that would kind of help cover up this wardrobe malfunction that she keeps having right here. But I love this. It's so cute. So hopefully someday I can get her originally in the box. But for right now, I do like, you know, the way this dress looks and just displaying it. It's just really pretty. So let's just put her back so you can see her. So that is my original dress on original Barbie, 1994 birthday Barbie. Now, let's look at the next one. Next one I got, I think I paid $2 for it at a flea market <laughs> and I know, I know, her hair is silly. It definitely needs to be fixed. She's got those really huge Barbie bangs. Like, I don't know. She's got humongous Barbie bangs. I've got to figure out how to fix those. But she's called Summit Barbie. Um, I believe, I'm not sure the whole history on Summit. I think it's that children's Summit that they had. They did it for a few years and, uh, this was the 1990 version, um, and she also came in a brunette and an African-American version, I think. And then the next year, they did the Summit Barbie again, and she looked different. But this is the one that I found at the thrift, or flea market, I believe. So I definitely need to pull up the Barbie and look at her and see how to fix these bangs. And I feel like maybe they were styled, like pulled back like this, maybe like back here, kind of made, made like a bump like this or something. I don't know. It kind of, when I first saw her, it kind of reminded me like a, like a cruise ship captain. She has like bands here with, beads at the end and then she has this band here and then she has a patch here that says Barbie and then she's got the bands up here this this stuff here is kind of like applique or embroidered on as well as this this is not this is more like um ironed on like an iron on patch it's not three-dimensional, but this is nice. This is like real braided stuff that's kind of like embroidered on. And then on this side, you got the same thing with no additional decoration. So I feel like she could be like a cruise ship captain or something, but it's from this that summit thing, the children's summit that they did. And so it's gold with like, this is like an off-white and it's kind of like a velvet feel. So it's a velvety material. And then this is a lame, a gold lame material. And let's see what's in the back. In the back, you can kind of see the embroidery a little bit better of those kind of stripes. And then it's, the jacket comes down. And they have kind of like a belt right here, like a gold belt. And then it goes into this skirt part. So the underneath, this is really pretty fabric. As you can see, it kind of shimmers. It's like a white, but the shimmer is, you know, like different colors that shimmer and sparkle. And it's a thick material. And then you have this really thick tool that's um, like an off-white with gold sparkle that comes over it. And it's not the kind of sparkle that sheds off easily. It stays on pretty well. It's a really nice, I think it's a very nice quality outfit. You know, it's got this, this is not how they make 
kind of Barbie clothes anymore, you know, with this nice velvet material, with this embroidery, with, you know, the real, like, um, with the real threaded made patches, with the lame fabric and the heavy tool and this heavy shimmy, shim, shimmy, shimmery fabric. I mean, they don't make it like that anymore. It's so, so nice, such nice fabric. Her hair, it's again that big hair, that's that platinum blonde hair. It's got some curls in it and then it's pulled up kind of like this, like pulled back like that. And then it's got these big bangs that I gotta figure out what to do with, so. But I think she's nice, nice quality. And uh, it was for a good cause for the Children's Summit. There we go. So let's put her back. Uh, I think I have just two more dolls now. I have this next one. Um, I believe that this is a Mycene doll. Now, I never collected Mycene dolls, but I believe this is a Mycene doll. This doll is really pretty. I love it. I never got into my scene doll. I never got into Bratz. I didn't collect any of that kind of stuff. But I saw this doll at an estate sale. And they had her in this dress for $2. I'm aware that this dress, <laughs> I know it's not an original. This is the dress that the Celtic princess, I think, from the Princesses of the World collection. That's the dress that she wore. And it is a nice quality dress. I mean, I have that Barbie in box and I love that Barbie. I love the Princesses of the World collection. I thought that was one of the best lines that they did for Dolls of the World. So I love that dress and obviously, you know, Celtic, so I love it. But I loved this doll. You know, I love the big eyes. I love the makeup. I loved her hair. It's like an auburn color. I like the length of it because it's longer. And I just thought, wow, you know, I never really thought about collecting my scene, but this doll is really pretty. So let's get a closer look. I'm not sure which one she is. I'm not gonna speculate because I don't know much about my scene at all, but I am gonna fix this doll up. I'm gonna fix the hair up. Let me pull her closer. Look at that face though. Like that face is so pretty. I love that lipstick and it, <laughs> That is such a trend of the early 2000s where you have the darker lip liner and then the lighter lipstick. It's just so, so pretty. I, I just, I really like it. And it's definitely, you know, brings back memories. <laughs> and then look at that eye makeup. The eye makeup is so pretty. And she's got real eyelashes. Those are real eyelashes. And that dark eyeliner, so pretty. I just love it. The face is gorgeous on this doll. And then here's the hair. Now you can tell this definitely needs some work, but look at that color. It's such a beautiful auburn color. And it has these really pretty highlights through it that go through it. Now on camera, it looks a lot lighter than it does in person. In person, it looks like more of a dark, uh, like a darker auburn. But on camera, it looks like a little bit more, like a little bit lighter, like a lighter red color. But it's a really pretty auburn color. Someone has it up kind of like in a half ponytail and then got some pieces hanging down. I just love this, co this color. I love these kind of subtle curls. I hope that when I, you know, try to brush them out after I wash it, that it doesn't get frizzy but it's really pretty and I'm gonna to try to put the same curls back in if I can, maybe using like some type of rod type curlers or something. Look at that pretty highlight right there. Just that highlight of kind of a lightish reddish color, strawberry blonde, I guess. So pretty. And then here is the outfit. So the outfit is that Dolls of the World and it's so pretty. It, it has this uh, kind of like embroidered ribbon. I have seen ribbon like this. So basically the dress is made out of this kind of plasticky filling material. 
And then they just took this ribbon and they kind of sewed the ribbon it's like all the way down the dress, like just to make this decoration. And then they put this really pretty belt on it. I mean, it's not real metal, but it definitely looks like metal. They painted it to look a lot like metal. It looks good. Making that belt on there. And then the dress goes all the way down to the floor. It definitely needs to be ironed. It's wrinkled. But I'm going to... Um, I'm going to use this dress and maybe make like a type of Celtic overcoat, like a cape with a hood to go with it. I think that would be fun because I kind of, I want to make a whole Celtic royal court. I've talked about doing that before. I had bought some patterns to do some stuff like that. And I think it'd be cool to use this dress because it's already made and then make a, a cape to go over it with a hood kind of. Wow, that would be so pretty. Okay, let's look at the back. So because because this is from more of the collector's line, it's not Velcro, there's a snap. And there is a tag in here. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, here it is. The tag is over here. Oops, sorry. So this tag is kind of upside down, but... It says Barbie Collectibles. So we know that it's not from the play line. We know that it's from the, you know, collectible dolls. Probably, you know, Dolls of the World Princess Edition. So this doll and this dress, $2. Like, what is steel, right? That's just so awesome. I love this doll. Okay, let's put her back. Let me fix her there. Put her back up there. And now I've got one more doll to grab. Okay, so this is the last one. So I got this doll at the, a flea market for $2. Um, what I liked about her was her makeup. Uh, I liked it a lot because it was like a dark lipstick. So it's not like a peachy lipstick. It's not like a red lipstick. It's like a darker purplish red, which, you know, I don't see too often. And I liked that. And I liked the darker subtle makeup. And uh, so I'm going to figure something to do with her hair because as you can see, her hair is a mess. But another thing that I liked about her is her dress. <laughs> I know it's probably some sort of wedding dress or something in the Barbie line. But it reminds me of the superstar um, era Barbie dress because I used to have a superstar Barbie from the late 70s and she had on a dress that was a very similar cut and style to this dress and it was a hot pink color and at the top it had like like sparkle at the top like this one does and then it went all the way down like that and it had a very similar cut at the bottom and it was almost the same at the top like kind of a, a upside down V tank style. So I'll bring it closer. But it really reminded me of that superstar era. So here's her makeup. I like that more kind of a darker purplish lipstick that's not red. Now I do wish her eye makeup was a little bit darker but it's kind of subtle, it's not bad. These earrings obviously don't match the dress, so obviously these didn't originally go together. Those earrings definitely go to something else. So she was probably wearing something more along the lines of that color. But here's the outfit. And if you look at it and think back to that superstar Barbie with the hot pink dress on, isn't this the same cut as that dress almost? except for it was a different color and it was the same design. It was very similar. This brings back memories of the Superstar Barbie. Now this dress is very white. It's not stained or dirty or, or anything. So it was either kept in really good condition or it's like very brand new. <laughs> now I don't know which is which it is, but I like this kind of like a cellophane type fabric up here that's shimmery so when the light hits it i don't know if you guys can tell in the camera 
but when the light hits it, this all changes like to that rainbow, that rainbow colors. So, mm, I don't know, it's probably a wedding dress, but I wish it was a superstar dress. So let's look at the back. In the back, you would just tie it right there. And then it's got some Velcro kind of back there. And then obviously I need to, they had her hair in a ponytail, which is why it's got this here, because you know the rubber bands make that terrible bend in the hair. So I need to wash her hair and fix it. But I think she would just look nice with her hair down. Maybe so, we'll see. But I thought she was a pretty doll. And so she's the most recent one I've gotten. So those are the dolls that I have acquired through flea markets recently. And I am still working on my uh, project. I am, you know, working on the last three dresses of my vintage doll. So hopefully I'll have that done soon. I have also gotten a few more things from estate sales that I need to do a video on to show to show you guys what I got. Um, but I would say, you know, it'll probably be a couple more weeks before I finish up those other dolls. Um, so I'm not going to promise those, you know, within the next week because I just won't be able to do that. But I am working on them. And um, just so this is what I have so far. And again, I'm sorry about my voice. Um, it should be getting better soon, hopefully. And it won't sound so rough. Um, but thank you for watching anyway. I do appreciate it. And I did hit over 200 when I really appreciate that because I just started this channel not too long ago and I didn't know if anyone would really even be interested in any of the stuff that I have because it seems like a lot of people like to watch, you know, unboxing videos and stuff. And I don't really do a lot of unboxings. So I didn't know if anyone would even care about any of my stuff, <laughs> but I'm glad to see that you are interested you know, in some things like sewing and, you know, finding older dolls. Um, so I do appreciate that. And uh, I'm, I, I have an Instagram. Um, I'm trying to get it going up and going more, but I just thought it would be fun because some people mentioned that they were going to start sewing. Also had gotten some patterns, and I thought it would be fun if we could all kind of share um, our work through Instagram. And, you know, if you want to put it on my page and I'll start posting mine on my page too, but it's pretty in pink plastic. So I'm gonna, it's up already. I just don't use it very often. I need to start using it more. So we can all share our sewing pictures on Instagram if you wanna do that. Well, thanks for listening to me ramble and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.